for Charlie. Do you want to step forward for Millie? If she stepped forward, I'll probably have chosen her, yeah. Well, that was oh, no. what's that? oh, embarrassing in front of her. G'day, welcome back to the Shannon Show. Hello, if you're new, so today's video is going to be a watch along slash reaction slash commentary video of Love Island USA season one. I hope everybody is doing as well as can be. I really do hope everybody is being as proactive as possible in supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. And if you're still on the lookout for some resources, I've linked some in the description. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts on my commentary. I'm always up for a chat, I'm always up for a debate. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a dislike, no hard feelings. And if you really, really like this video, consider subscribing and helping your girl out. <laughs> Right, get me on neighbours right now. I'm sorry, was that not was that not excellente? Was that not excellente? Get me on neighbours, girl. So yeah, Love Island, Australia, we are here. I was thinking about getting into my reality TV bag, so I'm here testing out the format, seeing how it's going to be received. Um, and yeah, honestly, I do love a bit of reality TV, love a bit of trash TV. Um, as you guys know, if you've already been on my Love Island commentary videos, you know I'm team mess. And from what I've been told, the Australian version is very messy. So I'm very excited about it. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Just uh, Let's just get into it. Glasses. Glasses gang, where you at? Yeah, girl. Right. Have I got the right ears? Nope. I need 10 sexy Aussie singles and I need them now. <laughs> this sounds a bit like a little pop-up, isn't it, on one of those websites. Sounds sounds a little bit like a pop-up, girls. Hey, big boy. Report to Love Island immediately. Oh, my gosh. This sounds very pop up here, girls. <laughs> oh, he's a contender. It looks a bit like someone's dad. But, okay, let's just roll with it. She looks like very love. Island. Who does she look like? She looks like somebody McKenna. I can't remember her first name, but she was on reality TV and then she turned into a country singer. I think it's Megan, Megan McKenna. She kind of looks like her. Hey babe, it's not you. It's Love Island. <laughs> he looks so Australian. <laughs> oh, she looks pretty. Okay, body. A very interesting face. Uh, <laughs> it kind of looks like Curtis from the UK version. Okay, she's pretty as well. Hola. Okay. Welcome to oh, there, theirs is in Mallorca as well. Okay, okay. Another person who looks very normal, I'll say. They've even inc incorporated the, the Spanish setting in there as well. Interesting, interesting. Should the UK take some notes, girls? She looks good. Them titties sitting, girl. They all have a certain look. He's decent looking, but he kind of looks like the guy from... What, Blue. I forgot what it is. One of the lead singers. Not the main lead singer, but the other one. Kind of looks like him. Them teeth, girl. Okay, girl, the stance. Iconic. One boat, one bird. Is, is this guy Australian? This, this guy does not sound Australian. I don't know. Maybe there's a diverse... Diverse accents in Australia, but I'm pretty sure this guy is not Australian. Oh, yes, I am Irish. I thought it was an Irish guy. I wasn't sure. That show could have just got some Australian comedian to do this. It, it, it's, it's a bit jarring. But yeah, already not much diversity. Was I expecting it? Not really. I'm just here for the mess, girl. Okay, the long legs. Oh, it is a nice view. Better than the, <laughs> the view the people in Love Island USA had. Okay. Sis in the turquoise bikini stack. I'm Millie, I'm 24, I'm from the northern beaches in Sydney. 
Oh, she looks cute. My best feature physically is my butt and... We love the confidence. We love the confidence, guys. <laughs> you got to back yourself. you got to back yourself, babe. My ex-boyfriend, I found him in the shower with another girl. Absolutely broke my heart. What an asshole. These men are trash, girl. What I miss most about having a boyfriend is someone that loves you at your butt ugliest. They'll tell you that you're beautiful. You know you're not, but <laughs> it's nice that they think so. So this is your first mistake, girl. Validation from men. You need to love yourself first, girl. That's the word right there. I don't deal well with competition. I'm just such a little coward. Well, girl, you're going to need to amp it up, girl. Otherwise, you're going home. G'day, my name's Cassidy. Right, so is it good day or good day? Because I need to like tighten up the lingo, innit? Is it good day or good day? Let me know. I work as a waitress at a pub called The Dick. <laughs> you know, when your life is boring, I can, I can see why that would be funny. I will go as long as I possibly can without washing my hair. See, black people tend to not wash their hair because they don't really need to, but I mean, I've seen it on the Caucasian air. And it can get pretty greasy, girl. But, you know, do you, sis? Do you, sis? You know, maybe I was wrong about Millie because from that angle, her bum did look pretty cute. Sorry, girl. Sorry. So I, I go after footy guys I'm going to try and avoid the I know, because they're guys. just not, they're not good for you. Yeah, these footballers are cheaters and they're trash. They're only good to finesse girls. That was the girl with the teeth. So, do my tits look good? Of course they look good. They do, girl. <laughs> she even knows. My name's Erin, I'm 23 years old, I'm from Melbourne, and I'm your naughty nurse. Oh, naughty nurse, girls. My best feature would be my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. I'm just going to threaten the girls and say, well, that's my man, if you go for him, I will kill you. We like to see it, girl. We like to see it, girl, because a lot of these girls be chatting shit. But when it comes to it, they're crying in the confessional. So I want to see it, girl. I work with dogs. Yeah. Oh, my God. So you'll be able to handle men real easy then. <laughs> T. So Gosh. what are you guys looking for in your guy? What about you? Taller than me. Well, that's anyone. No, I'm kidding. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Millie. <laughs> She's gonna be messy, I'm loving it. Okay, girl. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm 21 years old. 21. Okay, girl. I'm also a former Miss Universe Australia. No, oh, okay. I'm half Lebanese, half Australian. Oh, she's got a little bit of flavour. It's not all injections, girl. <laughs> I have quite a set type, blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh, she's trying to ditch the Lebanese jeans, girl. <laughs> you know them ones? <laughs> the camera, the cameraman must be a bum man. People meet me and I think Barbie doll, blonde hair, and think that I'm a bit of a bimbo, but I am definitely not. I did think blonde hair, but I didn't think Barbie, to be honest. And I own my own hair and beauty salon. Get your coins, girl. We love a businesswoman. I enjoy the finer things in life. I don't want no toilet cleaner. Period. Period. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about it if you're mad. Period. Period. <laughs> Rich man is where it's at. It is a deal breaker, actually, if the guy doesn't have a boat. But, no, maybe they can buy one. <laughs> she says if they don't have a boat. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Imagine, so do you have a boat or not? No. Yeah, it's not going to work out. <laughs> I love it. That's her standards. That's her standards. Why should she have to cut that back, girls? But I don't think she's going to find one of those in here. So she's obviously just here to get her coins in it and then use the clout to get a millionaire. You know, them ones. Maybe not get, but you know, secure the money. <laughs> Lucky enough to party with uh, Justin Bieber. Ooh, Justin Bieber, the name drops begin. Girl doesn't kiss or tell. Oh, girl, nothing happened. You're not his type. Let's be real. But then again, you never know. A hole is a hole. God, your bikini is so nice. Yeah, there's a little bit. There's, I think they could have covered the bikini a bit more with the gems. Oh, it's the host. 
Shoulders are a bit stiff, girl. Erin, what are you looking for in a guy then? Well, someone who's good looking and a good kisser. Can you not teach them? You don't know that at the beginning, good bad. Period. Do you like being a bit spoiled? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, you can. Period, period. Why would you not want to be spoiled? Why would you not want to be spoiled? The ghetto. Looks like a personality. I think it's, it's, I think it's always good to have a balance. He will then decide. She's got a really deep voice. Oh my God, he's really hot. Really hot. Okay, each to their own. My name's Josh, I'm 25. Okay, he's giving me work at a bank vibes. Looks a 10 and I would give my personality, I'm gonna be a bit more honest and say 9.95. Okay, you're gonna back yourself. I have a medical condition, it's called a wandering eye. <laughs> I fall in love really quickly. But I also fall out of love really quickly. I don't doubt that. I personally wouldn't step forward for Josh, but let me know if you would. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what the tastes are in Australia. So I guess we'll have to see if anyone will step forward for him. <laughs> oh, bitch, why are you laughing? You're so rude. But yeah, I'm not surprised no one stepped forward. The looks aren't strong enough for me. Yeah, it's a bit embarrassing, babe, isn't it? I'm just into brunette. I mean, it's kind of a mixture. Is that a tacky pick? I'm not sure who he's going to pick. Stunning girl in the yellow bikini over there. Okay. I feel quite special being the first VP. She's a pageant girl, so she knows how to act. Hey, Justin. Welcome. <laughs> what way is Justin? Who wants to talk about themselves being so good looking? I'm gonna... Okay, he is good looking. He's got a bit of the London look. I've walked the runways for Armani, Dolce, Fashion Weeks. And each day is a rockstar lifestyle. I have partied with the most incredibly gorgeous women all over the world. Katy Perry, Ruby Rose, Nikki Whelan, Rosanna Faraci. I mean, the list goes on. Okay, interesting list. I'm a straight guy. Sometimes I feel like I'm cursed because I look like this. I don't think that's why, to be fair. But, you know, if you say you're straight, we'll take you out your word. There is so much more to me than just my good looks. I'm not sure because the personality is looking a bit dry, babe. If Justin ticks your box, please take one step forward. Girl, you're the fussiest ever. <laughs> oh, no one stepped forward. Are you shocked? No. How are you feeling? Yes, or, I don't know. Yeah, I think he has he has a bit of feminine energy. He does. I don't have a problem with that, but his personality on top of that is dry, so it's just not very appealing. Cassidy. Yeah. Why have you not stepped forward? Um, I think I'm still a little bit shy and I I thought I like to observe from a distance. <laughs> She's not interested. It's that it. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't feel like shit anymore. <laughs> you can pick anyone you like. The lady in, in the black. Ah! She is not happy about that. Billy and Justin. <laughs> she is not happy. I know him. Oh shit. Oh shit, he winked. Hey, I'm Charlie. Not my style personally, but I do think he could have an appeal in the house. He looks like a rugby guy. Girls generally think because I'm a rugby player, I'm probably sleazy, but I can tell you I'm far from that. We're going to have to see the material. I actually want to be here and find love. Mm, okay. Active, loves the outdoors. Yeah, <laughs> why are you looking down for? Does Shashu dated him as well? All the things he said he's looking for, I'm looking for, but I did hear that he dated Millie. Nothing happened, it just is no, we didn't even have sex. That is true. Okay, then why are you being so dramatic then, girl? What? I don't think she wanted to. I feel she I think she feels a bit forced. I'll have to go to Natasha, please. Okay. <laughs> you can just see all of their egos deflating. I love it. I've got the feeling he was looking elsewhere, so we'll soon see. Then why just step forward, girl? What are you doing? But Charlie, do you want to step forward for Millie? If she stepped forward, I probably would have chosen her, yeah. Oh, no, oh, embarrassing in front of her. Yeah, you need to step forward to somebody else. This is embar embarrassing. Oh, he's very confident. Why does she keep looking down? It's annoying me. My name is Grant Crap. I'm 22 years old. It looks a bit like a dad. Uh, I'm, I'm going to stay Pip. Okay, isn't too bad at this angle here. If you want to be with Grant, step forward. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <It's>, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
tip bag. She is stepping out of this embarrassment shirt. Thought, well, you know, don't you save the best for last kind of thing? No, that's not no. how it works at all. Well, I'm hoping that's how it works today. Mm. Erin, <laughs> I think she's going to be my favourite. Cassidy? Oh, poor, Na poor Natasha. Or Natalie. Whatever her name is, poor her. She's stuck. And lucky last. Erin, this could be the one. Is Eden. Yeah, you should have stepped forward now, babe. <laughs> my name's Eden, 25 from Sydney. He looks like a dad as well. The worst thing I've ever done was sleep with a bride to be on a hen's night. Are we meant to be impressed about this? No, I got told the other day you were like an Adonis. Oh, by who, babe? I want to know. A prisoner, babe. How many girls have I slept with? 95. That doesn't surprise me either. If I see a girl that I want, I will eventually have her in mind. Okay, let's see, babe. Have you dated him too? Are you no, I me? think oh. he dated my friend. Oh, that's alright oh. then. Oh, girl. Not you, though. Not me. Okay. Okay, again. <laughs> if you fancy it, step forward. Oh, what is it? Aaron, okay, finally. The first thing I saw was Aaron. To be fair, I think he was looking at Aaron first. And look at that, look at that smile and that red lipstick, oh. Uh, uh, okay, this is a bit cringy. I had this feeling that the best one would be last, and I was right. I think you're wrong, sis. And the winning couple could win $50,000. No, they're going with 50000 Later, the villa receives an unexpected guest. Oh, we've got a new girl coming. After some of the boys' egos took a bigger mauling than Leo DiCaprio took off that bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks nice. The villa. The villa, it's amazing. It's everything that I thought it would be and everything that I deserve. Okay, Erin. Like, I got this real bogan vibe from you, like. Isn't bogan a dis... Uh, a dis? Isn't that like basically the same equivalent to redneck? He's nice and laid back and he's a bit of a bogan and... <laughs> okay. She loves some rough rub. Okay. I'll see a pigeon that's struggling and I'll catch it and take it to the bed. Uh, I would never. I used to be kangaroo, so I know what you mean. But I, so I used to only eat kangaroo and fish. Oh! Because kangaroos aren't farmed. <laughs> okay. Her kangaroo actually tastes nice. I was definitely not shy with Edith. And he's not shy either. He's like me. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna last. <laughs> Have you ever cheated? Yeah. At least he's honest. Oh, well, along when I was younger, yeah. But he said yes, like, yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> no, not all the time. Oh, bitch. <laughs> you cheated yesterday, girl. How many girls have you slept with? Already. Not 200. No. One. Around 100. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, I don't keep a no, <laughs> She's not joking. Me and Erin definitely got sexual chemistry, for sure. I mean, he sticks his, it seems like he's sticking it in any anything, babe, so of course there's sexual chemistry. Are they real? No, they're fake. I've got, I've got a peaking plan. But at least he's honest. I think Taylor's an oil painting. I, I would put her up against the Mona Lisa, and I think she'd draw a bigger crowd. There'd be tourists taking... F oh my god, I'd be so annoyed by him. Have you cheated before? No, oh, they're asking all the cheating question. No, I haven't cheated. Think Why about it. I, I didn't think about it, I was straight away. No, I'm saying think about it. Like, have you or not? No, I haven't cheated, I haven't cheated. <laughs> Is lying. Would have you stepped forward for someone else if I didn't come to you? But I mean, it was just like with um, Charlie, because you already knew him. I mean, honestly, if you want to pursue something, it should be all about you. It shouldn't be about out no outside noise, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, these two are not compatible. She is definitely leaving him. What were your first impressions of me? Oh girl, it's another setup. You already know what he thinks of you. Why ask? Honestly, I couldn't keep my eyes sort of off Millie in a way. <laughs> Embarrassing. You know, you're my next choice, so I wanted to kind of get a bit of a feel on what you're, what you're all about. But I did think with Millie it would be a lot easier. Next choice? Oh! And you're still here, sitting down in this conversation. I feel like I've chosen the wrong guy. Um, you know you have. The number one thing I'm looking for in a guy is someone who's loyal. Oh, Tom, is she crying? Oh, and there's no, you know, yeah. that's like the number one thing. She sounds like she's gonna cry. You know. It's not cute, girl. Do you know what? He's a lovely guy. I would go for him again, to be honest. Yeah, she's gonna go for him again. I don't feel safe keeping him as my partner. <laughs> I mean, you already knew that, sis. Why are you telling us? Who do you think is up here? <laughs> Who do you what about you? No, obviously this has been organised. The boys are talking, the girls are talking about the same thing. Find someone and hopefully be with them past my time in the villa. Good luck, sis. 
I found her the third preference. Third? Who was number two? Oh, I'm still, I'm still unsure. Girl. Well, like, like if a guy came in, I'd be fucked. So the game plans have already begun. I've literally never been in a situation where someone hasn't liked me. Oh girl, stop being so pathetic. He doesn't like you. It's not the end of the world. I'm not the type of girl who'll go like go chasing after somebody. Someone has to come and chase me. I get that, but he's not going to chase you, babe. So why are you still moaning? Well, you dodged a bullet there, Natasha, because I just looked through the paperwork and it turns out that Charlie doesn't even have a boat. Exactly, he doesn't even have a boat, babe. You can kiss him. Alright, guys. It's already started. Yeah, Millie's not interested in that Justin guy. You see the distance. <laughs> what's, what's going on? 20, all right? 30 straw chance. Like, this is really hard for me because I don't, I just don't trust guys. I definitely get that, sis. But when you don't trust people, you've also got to detach yourself as well. Because not trusting someone, but also attaching so much emotion towards them is a toxic combination, girl. You got to detach the feelings. How did they stop working out? Oh, we're such privilege. <laughs> Look away. And also, if I was doing a workout with someone and I could see my partner of one day spying on me, I would be very turned off. Update! Charlie still has no boat! <laughs> Stuck in a bit of like predicament at the moment, just sort of. Why is he looking so stressed? <laughs> Merely a small, that's sort, of, that's sort of like unfinished or something that needs to be spoken about. Well, speak about it instead of speaking about it in the confession, babe. I'm looking for, like, someone to settle down with. You're not going to find that in here. You're not going to find someone with a boat, babe. I doubt it. So, yeah, just make the most of it, babe. Enjoy the holiday. I just feel like you're not as mature as somebody I would like to be with. I mean, it's been a day, babe. Just say you're hurt by the rejection. Like, what is this? It's just looking a bit sad. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually trying to work things out. I'm not, you're not giving me much here. True. I don't know, the whole thing's just weird. Normally if I was out in reality, I'd just be like, block, fuck off kind of thing, but I'm living in a in a house with them, so I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you. Yeah, maybe he's a bit immature. Can you confirm you're gonna screw this up real bad? My man! <laughs> it's more of like a friendship thing. No, oh, she's friend zoned him. Interesting. You just are quite young. And I need a guy that's like gonna be older and look after me. <laughs> Again? Okay, maybe we, maybe they saw something we didn't. I can't get that 10 minutes back. It could have been 10 minutes if I was telling someone else they were hot and they were getting a big head or whatever. So, yeah. Absolutely. I absolutely agree with that. People just feel like, oh, I need to talk to this person to give them closure or give myself closure. No, you're wasting time, girls. On to the next one. It's the girl's worst nightmare. No, we'll see about that. <laughs> this is not funny. I do want to just see where things go with Millie. Yeah, Millie's not interested in you, babe. Um, but I can obviously help if I feel attracted to Taylor. I think she's looking for um, blue-eyed blonde hair, though. Could be in trouble. We're at a bit of a standstill at the moment. I don't know. Yeah, she's not interested in you, babe, either. You give it time, bro. Like, it's yeah, so early. You just talk to him when you can. If you hang around like flies, this shit, mate. It's they just get turned off. Yeah. <laughs> hang around like flies. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one. I want to see where it goes, and I think she does too. He's a bit boring, though, this guy. Day one, like, I'm not just gonna, you know, throw out, like, heaps of bant straight away. Like, I'm gonna build up to it. <laughs> build up to banter. Go away, babe. You either got it or you don't. Need to get in there quick. Yeah, I know, but I just, I just didn't want to like be. Uh, he's messy. He's messy because he was talking to the other guy. He's messy. I bet he's going to report back as well. I didn't want to like. Because it's sometimes she's just coming here. This is... So, Justin and the budgie he's smuggling have invited Josh to the garden for some serious man talk. <laughs> okay, I like this voiceover guy. On two fabulous blue chairs, darling. Darling, with that shade. No one really owns anyone in the house. Really? No, you don't, babe. I think we're still quite solid. <laughs> Bless him. Mate, I tell you what you're gonna do today. Be an asshole. Yeah. Be the asshole. Hard to, to to get them one on one to even be the asshole. You know what I mean? And then you don't want to force it. These 
These men are very low value. I'm not into it. We already know this. To be honest with you, I actually can't find you really. Really? Oh, he's really putting it on. He's, he's leaning forward. He's trying to do the shy smile. Looking up. I see you. I'm into you, like a lot. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely still wouldn't be turned on by this, but it's a better option than Josh in my opinion. Yeah, I want to be with you. Okay, stuck it on. Stuck it on pretty thick. I still feel that we're kind of on the same path. I feel like she feels the same way, but I don't know if she just had to say that because I was there with her and she felt embarrassed or a bit shy. No, I think you are a better option than Josh, but she's eventually going to ditch you as well. Couples are enjoying the Spanish sunshine. Eden and his girl Erin. Slytherin. At least they were last night in bed. <laughs> Natasha, who wants a man with a boat, is with Charlie. Seen here without boat. <laughs> Tonight there will be a real warming party. So this is where they're going to introduce the new girl. Get over here. Oh right, they're like a proper, proper couple now. I mean marry me. I mean, they could have got a better angle of her. Okay, Kylie. Kylie Minogue vibes. My name's Kim. I'm 22. She's a pretty girl. I practically live in a bikini. Okay, girl. Well, I'd love to personally live in a bikini every day. I think that would be fun, to be honest. I think if you've got it, to definitely flaunt it. I agree. Blonde, fake tits, skinny. I fucking hate you. <laughs> we can always count on Erin. You kind of look like me, but not... No, she does not look like you. Oh, she's introduced herself to the boys first. The producers probably told us to do that. They know what they were doing. I felt it in my waters, in my ovaries. I was like, there's a female, I can smell her hormones. She's around here and she's blonde and she has fake tits. <laughs> the girls definitely felt intimidated by her presence. They're loving it because all their egos have been bruised and now they want the girls' egos to be bruised. Typical. And that means one of the girls is going. Already, the girl just got, the girl just got here. And they're already, they're already thinking about what girl's gonna go. These boys. No one's that perfect. So hopefully she's like really hairy or something. <laughs> What's wrong with being a little hairy girl? Grow up, babe. Another toe. What's wrong with a little extra toe, babe? No, oh, next time. Someone's gonna be unhappy no matter what. Right, so that's the end of the reaction. So I think this could definitely be a juicy season. I'm excited to see what's to come in terms of my first thoughts. I feel like pretty much all the boys are gonna be annoying and trash. Um, Erin, she's a little bit annoying, but I think she can provide some entertainment. Um, Natalie as well, I think she she is annoying, but again, I think her whininess could provide some entertainment. And I think if anyone's going to be first to go, it probably is going to be her. I'd be interested to see what this new girl is saying, whether she's going to shake things up. But I feel like the boys are more interested in rifling up the girls rather than this new girl, which is very strange, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, do let me know what you thought about this episode. Let me know what you thought about my commentary. Um, I'm doing this on an episode by episode basis. So I'd appreciate no spoilers for the future episodes. Um, yeah, but yeah, subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have, don't forget to put my notification bell on. So you know when the next review, so you know when the next reaction is dropping. I'm also trying to get to one. I'm also trying to get to 2K subscribers. I'd appreciate if you helped me reach that goal and thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. Till next time guys, bye!